Hello everyone, welcome back again. And our topic this evening for a brief discussion is gratitude, taken from Swami Kriyananda's book, Affirmations for Self-Healing. Let's look at this fascinating topic, gratitude. Swamiji says, gratitude is a way of returning energy for energy received. Only a thief takes without paying for what he gets. And one who accepts a kindness without returning gratitude, as though the kindness were his by right, demeans both the giver and himself. He demeans the giver because by ingratitude, he implies that the kindness was inspired by selfish motives. And he demeans himself because by giving nothing in return, he breaks the cycle of creativity without which prosperities flow, both materially and spiritually, is blocked. Accept nothing inwardly for yourself, but offer everything to God. Don't let yourself be bought by others' kindnesses. Be grateful to them, above all, in your soul, by blessing or praying for them. Give gratitude, first of all, to God, from whom alone all blessings truly come. Now let's look at this a little more carefully, more closely. Swamiji is talking of how energy is transformed, but it never ceases to exist. That we need to learn little by little the laws of nature, the laws of, of energy, the wheel, the circle of life, we might say that in order to receive, we need to give. And energy can be transformed. In other words, if what we receive, we can receive, let's say, a spiritual gift. And we may not feel capable of giving a spiritual gift in return but we can give in other ways. And so, in other words, if we give of the energy that we have in abundance towards that which we want, this is how we grow. In other words, I feel rather ignorant. I want to grow spiritually, but I don't know how. What can I give? Maybe I have lots of physical energy. Maybe I can donate money. Maybe I have lots of skills. And in return, we can receive that spiritual wisdom that we're seeking if we look in the right place. But it's so interesting how Swamiji says, only a thief takes without paying for what he gets. You know, young children haven't developed this particular ability at the beginning, you know, and they, they see the world, they see their parents, they see other people as being a source of things that come to them. And learning how to give back is a more subtle lesson, but it's an essential one. Otherwise, we 
go through life as if we were young, ignorant, innocent perhaps, but ignorant children of taking from life and not realizing how we must give back. If we want to be loved, we need to give love. If we want to be understood, we need to do our best to understand others. This is the, the law of gratitude. And it behooves us as a introspection, as a meditation, to look inwardly at all of the gifts that we receive every day, in every moment of the day. And how can we give back to the giver of those gifts? Swamiji says another thing very interesting in that he says, by giving nothing in return for what we receive, we break the cycle of creativity. <clears throat> That's interesting. That's something that we may not think of at first in terms of, of giving, of gratitude, that when we don't give back, that we break the cycle of creativity. It's like creativity within us draws up because creativity is a kind of, of giving. You know, uh, creativity, let's say an artistic creativity. It's like you want to create something that to you is beautiful, that is meaningful. And if we don't give back, then it's like that source of creativity dries up within us and we're no longer able to enjoy life because we are, we're no longer able to give to life. And without the cycle of creativity, of giving and receiving, prosperities flow both materially and spiritually is blocked. What is spiritual? We know what material prosperity is. What is spiritual prosperity? It is those divine gifts, that peace of mind, that joy, that love, that contentment, that happiness that we seek. That is our spiritual prosperity. And in order to have that spiritual prosperity, we need to give. We need to give to life. We need to be develop being a disciple to life so that we open ourselves to receive and we give back in gratitude, in kindness. And that kindness, that gratitude, of course, can be directly to God. It can also to be towards all of God's children that... Uh, you know, as, as Jesus said once, the, you know, if you act kindly towards, he said, the least of my children, then you act kindly towards me. In other words, every being is a manifestation of God. And the more that we can treat others with kindness, with compassion, with sympathy, the more we are in effect we're drawing God's blessings to us because we're really offering our good qualities, our kindness through others to God himself. And Swamiji further expands and says, accept nothing inwardly for yourself. 
but offer everything to God. By this he means the more that we can offer of, our, of ourselves, the more that we can live for a greater happiness for our inner divine awareness, the more we dedicate ourselves to our spiritual search. He, uh, he says that um, this is what we should do. We should offer everything to God. And then he says, accept nothing inwardly for yourself. Well, why not? Don't I deserve it? I've, I've given all of this. Shouldn't I receive and enjoy what I receive? And he says, don't take it for yourself personally. You know, don't take it like a gift. Oh, you know, here's a beautiful piece of jewelry and I'm going to wear it all the time and I'm going to enjoy it because I think it makes me look good. Rather, he says, rather than accept it for yourself, give it back to God. And what happens is miraculous. We enjoy whatever it is that we may have or that comes through us in a much deeper way because we enjoy it with the enjoyment of God. We don't, we don't become attached to it. Rather, we feel free to give it back to God, and he feels free to give us more and more. We open that divine cycle of prosperity, both materially and spiritually. And let's look also at the affirmation that Swamiji has given us. He says, I give thanks to the giver behind each gift and to the one giver behind all that I receive. My gratitude rises with devotion's incense to the throne of omnipresence. I give thanks to God, to the one giver behind everything that I receive in life. And by counting our blessings, by giving our gratitude to God for all of his gifts that he gives us in every moment, with that attitude, we draw to ourselves this spiritual prosperity. He says, my gratitude rises with my devotion. We offer gratitude, and what naturally re results is our devotion, our love for the truth, for God, for our higher awareness. And we bring that devotion to, as he puts it, the throne of omnipresence, of self-realization, cosmic consciousness, of God himself. Let us say this affirmation together now. And please repeat after me, first in a loud voice. I give thanks to the giver behind each gift. And to the one giver behind all that I receive. My gratitude rises with devotion's incense to the throne of omnipresence. More quietly, I give thanks to the giver behind each gift and to the one giver behind all that I receive. My gratitude rises with devotion's incense to the throne of omnipresence. Now in a whisper only, I give thanks to the giver behind each gift. And
and to the one giver behind all that I receive. My gratitude rises with devotion's incense. to the throne of omnipresence. Now mentally only offer this affirmation in gratitude, offer it up to God, offer it up to our own superconscious. I give thanks to the giver behind each gift and to the one giver behind all that I receive. My gratitude rises with devotion's incense to the throne of omnipresence. Now please pray silently with me. I thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. But most of all, I thank you for your love. God gives us all of these blessings, but the greatest of these blessings is the love that we can feel in our hearts. It's God's love for us, it's his protection, it's his wisdom and guidance that he shares with us. How does God show his love to us? It's in the answers to the problems, to the questions that we have. It's in the solutions that we seek. It's in the wisdom that gradually grows within our heart. It's in the compassion that he helps us to develop. So many ways God shows his love for us. And we count these ways by counting the blessings, by expressing our gratitude, making a list of everything that we are grateful for. And this is what I wish for for all of you is this sense of gratitude, this sense of awe and wonder for all of the gifts, all of the blessings that God gives to us.